W Fam Cam presents. What is up, guys? So, Avengers Endgame is now the top domestic opening weekend of all time. 350 million just shattering the box office this weekend. This is just astonishing. 1.2 billion dollars worldwide in the first opening weekend, guys. This is just incredible. This is more than Captain Marvel's entire run. This this has never been done before, guys. This shatters the domestic record that Infinity War set last year by almost 100 million dollars. This is nuts. I don't foresee this record being broken anytime soon i don't buy even star wars the rise of skywalker i don't even see there's no way this can be be beaten i just there's just no way what end of game has done has is been it's just historical it's phenomenal how many people this weekend have gone for the extended show times i know amc 24 hours around the clock and i thought definitely for sure that this movie is going to make about 285 million I thought it'd be a little short of 300 million. There's a few things like doing the math and seeing how many screenings, even with the but with the max out screenings and around the clock show times, even with the crazy three hour runtime, and even losing a show time, this movie has just caught up all its ground by the demand for more show times, and it it's nuts. It this movie is just is just doing it. It's it's the end of of Marvel's Phase Three. It's the end of the original six Avengers and. This movie is has been incredible. It's, it has a 96 rating on Rotten Tomatoes. It's the number one box office opening of all time, worldwide and domestic. It, this movie is just pretty crazy, you guys. I am super excited to see where this movie lands up all time in the box office. I guarantee it will be Titanic at $2.2 billion. I guarantee that's going to happen for sure. I'm thinking down the road, uh, will it catch Avatar? At two point, I think two point eight billion dollars. That is, uh, that's a hard one right there. I think if it has another week like this week and might get to two billion in two weeks, there's, I see it foresee it happening. But the problem is, you got the next few weeks. You got Detective Pikachu coming out. You got John Wick Chapter Three, Godzilla in May. So it's gonna have to really have some stiff competition down the road. But definitely, guys, this this movie for sure is is overtaking Titanic for hundred percent for sure. It's joining the two billion dollar club. Just just this week, guys. I mean, it opened in China earlier this week. I think Wednesday or Tuesday. But this is an incredible accomplishment accomplishment for Kevin Feige at Marvel Studios, for Bob Iger, Alan Horn, for the whole for for Disney. Disney didn't even expect this to happen. They were shocked that this movie made this amount of money. This is this is incredible. Uh, Avengers Endgame is a brings the the MCU, the old Avengers, to such a great close, guys. And just a rewarding just weekend for this movie because it is done so well. It is a freaking awesome, great, fantastic movie. Well-deserved. Avengers Endgame, the new record that shall not be beaten. I don't believe anytime soon. Not even by the rise of Skywalker or even the Lion King. There's no way that anything's going to come close to this, guys. But it's freaking awesome, guys. It is just fantastic. If you look like the top three because you got... Avengers Endgame, Infinity War, and Star Wars The Force Awakens in the top three. And just the gap between Infinity War and Endgame now is almost $100 million. It, it's, it's phenomenal. It just sees the power of this cinematic 11-year, 22 Marvel films. It's, it's crazy, and it's incredible, and it's just fantastic, guys. So we'll just have to keep, keep waiting and see what the, how this movie does and what it continues to do and how it continues to dominate this next week because next week it really has nothing coming out. And... But we'll see what happens, guys. Just stay tuned for our next box office update, and uh, we'll talk to you guys again soon. Peace.